Citrus is one of the most important fruit crops grown in the world. They're not only a source of delicious fruit and juice, but they also provide a valuable source of vitamin C and other health benefits, making them one of the most consumed and traded agricultural commodities in the world. The domestication dissemination of edible citrus commenced several hundred years ago within Southeast Asia. The spread of citrus globally began via ancient land and sea routes, resulting in the modern citrus being found in a vast array of varieties cultivated in 140 countries, with a global production of approximately 158 million tonnes in 2021. Cultivated citrus of today is grown via grafting and asexual seed production, basically resulting in clones of the original plant. This retains desirable traits, but has resulted in many of the cultivated citrus having little genetic diversity. This narrow genetic diversity makes them vulnerable to insect pests, disease such as citrus greening disease, black spot and canker, and climate change. Having a greater understanding of edible citrus population genomics and domestication can assist in developing resistance to pests and disease and cultivate species equipped to handle the effects of climate change. Though unfortunately the ancestry of the modern citrus has been lost in undocumented domestication events which took place hundreds or even thousands of years ago, thus making the lineage of modern citrus a highly contentious topic. Seeing how genome sequencing and diversity analysis has provided clarity into the domestication history of apple, grapes, rice and maize, Wu and his colleagues set out to uncover the origins of a number of citrus species which have arisen through selective breeding. First, a baseline for the analysis of citrus was constructed in the form of a high-grade reference genome of a haploclementine mandarin. The genomic DNA was extracted from a leaf and broken up into smaller fragments. These fragments were then sequenced from both ends producing reads of known distances in a shotgun library. A computer then took the pair end reads and aligned them to assemble a complete sequence of the genome. This provided a reference genome for citrus with 96% of the genomic sequence being assigned to locations on the nine citrus chromosomes. When analyzing the citinae, the linkage of the genes on the same chromosome, it became clear that despite a number of chromosome structural changes, the modern citrus genome had originated from a paleohexaploid eudicot ancestor. With the reference genome assembled, the genome of a number of different citrus species was sequenced via Lumina. To do this, the DNA was extracted from each of the citrus and sonicated into smaller fragments to which the adapter was attached to. The fragments were then added to a flow cell where the adapter is bound to. Through a number of steps, cluster amplification was carried out to produce millions of clone copies of the original sequence, which was presented in an image that software analysed to produce the genomic sequence. In prior studies which analysed only a partial section of the modern citrus genome, determined the ancestral species to be C. reticulata and C. maxima, with mandarins neatly defined as C. reticulata and pomelos and oranges defined as C. maxima. However, Wu and his colleagues found something a little more interesting. They aligned whole genome shotgun reads to the reference genome as a means to pinpoint high quality single nucleotide variants to determine different genotypes via the heterozygosity as a means to measure the genetic variability in the population. They confirmed that Pumelo descended from a wild sexual C. maxima population with little genetic contribution from any other species, as Pumelo displayed little amounts of heterozygosity throughout the genome. Mandarin ancestry, on the other hand, was not as clearly defined. All mandarins displayed high levels of similarity within their chloroplast genomes, which indicated a wild mandarin ancestor. However, the whole genome had high levels of heterozygosity scattered throughout large sections of minimal heterozygosity, indicating a pomelo ancestor, resulting in a mixture of the two ancestral species. The analysis of sweet and sour oranges also indicated intraspecies mixing, with both species displaying a mixture of pomelo and wild mandarin. While these two oranges show great phenotypic similarity, they looked alike, they are in fact genetically unrelated. This was evident by the sour orange appearing to be the first generation progeny of a pomelo and wild mandarin cross, while the sweet orange shared alleles with three mandarin species thus suggesting a common male ancestor between them, but the female parent remains unknown. 
With this study, Wu and his colleagues were able to confirm that modern citrus is in fact a mixture of the two ancestral species C. maxima and C. reticulata. Having resolved some of the contention around the modern citrus lineage, Wu and his colleagues continued their work and mapped the genomes of 58 citrus species including citrons, limes and lemons, which were not part of the original study. Thus establishing the ancestry of cultivated citrus which today is recognised and applied as the most accurate representation of modern citrus domestication and lineage.